So here's volume one of a Chinese book, used to be known as Dream of the Red Chamber. Mm -hmm. Now it's more often called Story of the Stone, yes. Penguin Translation. You're an advocate of this book. It's I very long. This is only one volume. Uh, five, yes. Uh, it's What's in here? Uh, it's, it's basically, it's a, f a family saga, um, but, uh, and basically a love story of the main character and the two women, who, uh, girls, w when it starts out, it starts out when he's a young, young boy. And um, it, it's basically a novel which has everything. Uh, it's, it's sort of a comprehensive, it's such a sweeping uh, book, such a, it's really one that you can get lost in over a long period of time. It's a book that is very easy to return to because there's so much in it. Uh, Even though on the Wikipedia page, 40 main characters are listed, right. plus minor characters. Right. So that's going to be tough going, right? Even with a good translation? Uh, not, well, it depends. Well, uh, I think it conveniently, it probably has the <laughs> list of characters. It does. <laughs> yes. And but even with the cheat sheet, 40 is hard. Right, there's, but they're the main characters. And um, again, it's uh, as a book to return, uh, there, there really are the central characters and the more incidental characters. And uh, the story focuses on groups of characters at a time. It doesn't, uh, they're not 40 people on stage all the time. Sure. So uh, that, that makes it somewhat simpler. Uh, it is initially, perhaps, if you haven't read much Chinese fiction, the Chinese names alone can be confusing. Sure. Um, but uh, I, don't, I don't think that's, that's the least of the hurdles to the book, I think. Uh, but it's also very accessible. It's just a compelling story. Uh, um, it really describes these characters and their feelings very well. Um, and a wonderful picture also of uh, the China of the times, uh, which, which is, is a century. totally different yeah. world. Yeah.